Cheers. It is day 30, and uh, this one is called Developing Character. The primary scripture verse here is Psalms 33, verses 1 through 4, which says, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with the harp. Sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. And the primary verse amongst this group for the purposes of this lesson is this verse 3, which says, Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. Verse 4, For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. Um, this, this is about teaching character to our children, and primarily what we're talking about here is um, developing spiritual gifts that our children have been given uh, through character, through hard work, through practice, through repetition. Um, we have spiritual gifts that are given to us, but they will not develop and they will not get better uh, unless we practice, unless we tr keep trying them out, unless we put them to use. And that's just like anything else in our life. I mean, I don't think that any of us have any problem understanding the concept that if I want to play a sport, I need to practice. Um, you know, it, that, that's just part of, of how this goes. Um, I think because of the fact that in the, in the sports context, we see what happens when we don't practice. Uh, you compete and you lose. It's easy to understand that. The, but the thing is, when it comes to our service to the Lord and our spiritual gifts that we utilize when we do that, you know, it, it's really not so much a competition. I mean, because this isn't, um, it's not us-centric, it's, it's other people-centric. Um, it's service. So we don't have that smack in the face as often um, where we realize that we did not prepare or we did not practice. Sometimes we can. Um, and, and, um, and in this context that I'm about to bring up, um, you know, sometimes we do get that smack in the face. Um, verse 3 specifically when it says, Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. Now, this is a music and worship context that's, that's being um, discussed here in Psalms 33. And that is a specific um, spiritual gift or, or type of spiritual gift um, that is focused on here, but, it, but the, the concept is valid. You know, do we put our children through music lessons? Do we put them through, um, I've got children in piano and guitar lessons. Um, do we allow them to just quit, you know, very quickly because of the fact that it's not easy? Um, do we allow them to sign up for a sport or something and, and then allow them to quit? Or do we develop character? Do we teach them um, to stick to it? Do we model that behavior in our own lives? Um, you know, th those are important things. And the reason why they're important, we see here in, in verse 3 that the Word of God says, well, in, in verses 1 and 2, it's talking about worshiping and praising the Lord. But in verse 3, it says, sing unto him a new song. Not, not, not the same old thing over and over and over again. Um, and that's something I take into consideration when, whenever you know, I'm singing in front of church or Angie and I are singing together in front of church. You know, we sing a lot of new songs. We don't repeat a whole lot all that often. Um, and also, play skillfully with a loud noise skillfully um you know in the music ministry we are careful to make sure that we have skills honed enough to be able to play or sing in a way that would honor god because our our effort and our character that we put into developing that spiritual gift and skill is important and it's a way that we can show god that we are honoring him because we have taken what he's given us We've worked on it, we've developed it, we've put effort into it, and now we can give that back as an offering of praise to Him. We can teach these same things um, with, with our children you know, because each of them are created differently. And God has um, created all of them for a different purpose and with different personality sets and different skill sets. Um, you know, specifically, it also mentions in 1 Timothy 4, verse 13, it says, I'm sorry. 
um, 4, verses 14. It says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Um, and then and some other things, specifically about prophecy and preaching and stuff like that. But God has given us gifts. We need to not neglect them. On the contrary, we need to develop them. And it all starts when our children are young. Um, and it all starts by our example. And by the tone that we set in our household, that is character. Um, there's other parts of character, but that's a piece of character specifically that's discussed today in our daily devotion. So I hope you'll consider that and um, consider perhaps what might be underdeveloped in your own lives, what you can model for your children and um, what you can encourage your children in, um, in developing in the near future. All right, folks, that's it for this week. Next week, you'll have Brother Keith. I uh, hope to see everyone in Sunday school on Sunday where we will be getting a, um, I think, a powerful um, set of um, events that we're going to look at in the book of Daniel. So hope to see you all then. Later.